Hello everyone, I'm Deb Courtney. Welcome to my YouTube channel today. I'm so glad you're here today. I have a feeling this might be a long video, mm, but not too long, hopefully. Hope to, I hope to keep it in less than 20 minutes. Okay, so here we go. I want to talk about the joy of fulfillment. And now you know what I said is going might be a long video. Fulfillment. Wow. What a topic. Mm, doesn't everybody want to feel like they live their life in complete fulfillment every day, day in and day out, that they have the vitality, the wellness, the energy, the peace, the joy, everything that I've talked about these last uh, videos uh, for however how long I've been doing the joy of, uh, and it's been a, it's, it's been a long series. Uh, this is going to be the last one of this series. So uh, let's talk about the joy of fulfillment, and let me go to my notes here and tell you what I have written down, what I have found out that has worked for me in my life. So let's go. Okay, this is what I wrote down about fulfillment. Fulfillment comes from me expressing myself fully and feeling the impact that it has on others and myself. It ha it's based on my life of the values that I have placed in my life and experiencing those values and the fulfillment that I get out of my values. Now, your values and my values will be totally different. Fulfillment is the inner reward for living your life this way. Your true self, your true values. I'm not talking about a phony self, a phony person. I'm talking about who you really are how you were created and designed, the human being that you truly and really are in your inner person, in your inner, inner, inner heart, inner self, inner gut. So let's take a look at that. This is what I've written down in regards to fulfillment. Well, when, when I was, when, when I'm experiencing fulfillment, this is, this is, this is, this is what it looks like. I'm creating something. Now, I don't know whether you know it or not, but I do like to decorate. And I like to decorate all four seasons. And that's what I generally do. And I'm creating. I'm creating an environment. I'm in creating a wellness that I like. And it fulfills me. And because I like a nice environment, I like, I, I just, it's just who I am. So I'm not apologize for that. I'm creating something. Um, when I'm experiencing fulfillment, um, I'm a pleased person. I have a, uh, a full attitude. I'm, I'm just talking about, well, like I'm full, fullness in creating the kind of environment, the kind of life that I want to live and I'm going to live. Because I have a made up mind on this, this is what serves me the best. And I like to, uh, when I'm experiencing fulfillment, I find myself that I am engaged in life. I'm engaged to uh, uh, my surroundings in relationships and friendships. And I enjoy that. I enjoy, I'm not going to have a, I'm not going to have a bad relationship with an individual. I'm just not going to have it. Now, they may have a bad relationship with me, but I'm not going to be bullied into a bad, a bad scene with that individual. I used to do that. I used to go there and it never did, it never did work out for me or them. You know, we both kind of walked away f with resentments with each other and bad feelings. Even though I was, I was thinking I was doing it with good intentions to kind of help them, to kind of show them you really don't want to do that. You don't really want to go that way. That way, it never worked out. Okay, um, so I it, uh, to be profoundly impactful. And living a full, fulfilled life, you you do have a tendency, and you will simply because you're not an island in and of yourself. You will impact somebody 
at some point along the way. And when you do, I'm hoping that you want that to be in a positive manner. You don't get anything by being in a, in a negative manner. It just don't work out. You won't have the relationship. You won't have the communication. You just won't. You, they won't be around. You won't be around them. Okay. So I'm going to give you 10 steps that I have found out in being fulfilled. So here we go. Number one, um, do the maximum. Do the maximum. Of ma now, that may look different from you than it does for me. Your maximum is defined different than my maximum, I'm sure. But according to your uh, uh, capabilities and your ability to be a, to have a life that's fulfilled, think about what that looks like and take it to the max. And you know what that is. Start coming from, the next one, start coming from the, the verses, uh, start coming from the is, this is the way it is, versus shoulda, coulda, woulda, regrets. Because you don't get fulfillment off of shoulda, coulda, wouldas, or regrets. It, it don't happen. So you have to be intentional. This is the way I'm going to be filled. This is what I need to, uh, to, to be fulfilled. This, this is what it looks like. And then you take the necessary steps, whether it's with the person, this is fulfillment being with this person, whether it's living in a certain place, this is fulfillment by me living in Italy or Greece or the Bahamas or wherever it is you would like to, to, to go to. Um, this is the way uh, I want this to happen to me. This this is what I want to be a part of my life. Maybe it's a second home in the mountains or at the beach or an RV so you can go traveling. Whatever is, is, get that is in your life and do away with the shoulda, coulda, wouldas because shoulda, coulda, wouldas do not fulfill. Okay, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't get anything out of, else out of this video, get that and be intentional. Because it's the only way it will happen. Okay, so here we go. The next one is um, do what comes naturally to you. You don't have to try to put a round peg in a square hole. You've heard that saying before many, many, many times. No, do what comes naturally to you. Um, and it, 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 it will, it will, it will be a whole lot easier if you do that. Because... If you if you do something that does not come naturally to you, you won't like it. It won't work. Okay? Um, have a vision or a project that leaves the legacy you want. Okay? Now I'm gonna tell you something. A lot of times I get I do get kind of well, I gotta I gotta do a video. I gotta do a YouTube video. I gotta go do a YouTube video. I gotta, you know, and so I have to sometimes remind myself that these videos will go on and on and on and on just like singers or any kind anybody that's on that you see or anybody that you see now it doesn't have to be on a video it doesn't have to be on tv it doesn't have to be a radio it doesn't have to be a media it could just be the person down the street you know someone in your family to be the person that that you can that that fulfills you in something like the vision of the project, it's like I said, that you know that will live past your life. And that's, that's what I want to do. Uh, that's not to say that we do get burnt out on doing those visions or having that project in our life to make us feel fulfilled. But sometimes we have to circle back around and ask ourselves the question, just why am I here? And why am I doing this? And sometimes we have to have that conversation just to say, okay, yes. I, I, and, and, and we get, and then we get back in the groove and say, yes, I am glad I did this. I'm glad I'm still doing this. I'm thankful that I'm still doing this. This really does keep me fulfilled because you do have a voice in your brain, in your mind. And that's where the, I have always said, that's where the battles fall for you to give up. And any, and it's, and if it's, and generally, it's something good 
good for yourself, good for your family, good for uh, mankind, the human race. There is, a, there is an evilness that doesn't want goodness to take place. And the sooner you realize that, the better off you will be when you have a vision, when you have a project that does promote goodness and wellness and, and, and joy and love and peace and kindness and gentleness and self-control. When you do have those attributes that you want to put in the out out from you, when you want to give it to people, there is a there is a voice that says, "Oh, I mean, you don't want to do that. You think they'll think you you don't you don't really want to do that. That's too much light work. You have to not listen to that, and you go forward with your vision of what it is on your fulfillment looks like. Okay, here we go. Um, master something, anything but experience, being the best at it, master something, anything, but experience being the best at it, okay, I tell my, and I know y'all think, well, Deborah, you, you're whatever, and I am, <laughs> I'm quirky, but I say this, you know what, I'm the best, when I do a certain situation, I say, you know why? And I tell people, I say, you know why I'm like this? They say, why, Dad? I say, because I'm the best. I'm the best at doing this. And they'll, they'll do what you're probably doing right now. They'll laugh. And I'll say, I see you laughing at me, but I'm here to tell you, I'm the best at doing this. And I guess you know, I, 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 hey, I love me some Tina Turner, and I especially do love her, her song called The Best, Better Than All the Rest. And I apply it to myself, visualize myself being better than all the rest. And I work and I intentionally do do things that in the fulfillment of my life that I be the the best version of me that I can be. That's what you should do. That's what, that's what you should be. Be the best version of you. And be, live in fulfillment. It's really, really simple. But we do make it complicated sometimes. Okay, here we go again. Let's go. I say, I got a few more. Um, learn the difference between accomplishments and results. Honor your inner, honor your inner feelings, desires, and inklings completely. Because, you know, and you have a gut instinct on those things. Some things, is, it's just like a gut instinct. But it, it could, it, you, you can't, you can't, sometimes you know that you know that you know. Okay. Okay. Uh, hang out with people who are fulfilled or well on their path to being so. Fulfillment, let me tell you this right now. Fulfillment is a lifelong journey. Everybody is on different parts of the journey on, than from you and me, okay? So we have to sometimes, we, we have to, once you understand that and discern it, then you don't get so vexed with people. You don't get so upset with people. You don't get so angry and mad with people because you have to understand everybody's on their own individual journey and we're all at different places on our journey than others. Some people are far more down the road than we are. Some people have just started. Okay? So we have to remember that. And when we do remember that, then that's part of fulfillment because you don't get upset and aggravated yourself. You don't have that internal angst, anxiety, depression, oppression. Okay? You see where I'm coming from? Because people can depress you and oppress you if you let them. But don't go there. Okay? Make the most of what you already have. You're not where you need to be. But praise the Lord, you're not where I used to be. I say that. I say that. I say that. I say that over and over and over and over. I'm not where I need to be. But I'm thankful I'm not where I'm used to used to be. I am on the way to where I want to be and being fulfilled. It is a daily walk. It is progressing every day, moving forward. 
going forward. And it takes a lifetime journey. And when I, when I do that, then I, you don't beat yourself up. And you don't talk down to yourself or you don't get down on yourself because you didn't do this a certain way. You didn't do it that. And you look back and say, well, I wish I'd done it like this. I wish I'd done it like that. Yeah, you didn't. Okay. So in the moment, stay in the moment of where you are now. What can I do in order to get the fulfilled results that I'm looking for in my life and helping someone out and doing this and doing that, whatever all that looks like to you? And according to your life. Build something rather than randomly creating. Be intentional on whatever it is you want to build. Whatever your fulfillment looks like to you, build it intentionally rather than being randomly trying to create something. Do your homework. Do the work. Put the work in and go from there. Well, that is, uh, I think, uh, I think that's, that's 10, so, or more. Anyways, it has to do with fulfillment, the joy of fulfillment. I hope this helped you some, some points you, you probably already knew. Uh, maybe there's something that you want to think about uh, that helped you, so I'm glad of that. So anyways, I'm glad you found me. I'm glad I found you. Go out and make it a great day, and I'll see you again next week. Bye.